A privacy breach that puts your most intimate moments on display. Webcams to watch your house or your children are being accessed. And now the world is watching. Right now, the international hotspot, Russia. Hello, everyone. I'm Michelle Franzen in New York. A Russian website has gained access to webcams and homes in the U.S. and all over the globe. And it is streaming live very private video from thousands of homes and businesses, including, as the BBC's Rory Kellen Jones tells us, more than 500 in the United Kingdom. There are webcams all over the world, giving a glimpse of daily life in all its variety. But it's the camera's owners who've decided to stream the images to the internet. But this Russian-based site broadcasts images from thousands of cameras worldwide without their owner's permission. From Britain, you can see everything from someone's front drive to the inside of a pub, even a child playing in a bedroom. The Information Commissioner is warning that home webcams are vulnerable if users fail to change the default passwords that come with them, because those are freely available on the internet. If you do want that remote access, then you've got to set a strong password. And frankly, you've got to set a strong password for any device that you link to the internet. We can't rely on just what's in the box, because there are people out there who are snooping. Modern webcams are more secure. They force you to change the default password. But making the decision that you're going to take images from your home and stream them over the internet so that, for instance, you can see them on a mobile phone, that's always going to have some risks involved. With more and more people choosing to share details of their lives over the internet, choosing secure passwords to protect your privacy is going to get more important. Set as long a password as possible. That, that's going to give you uh, the greatest amount of strength. Think about 15, 20 characters. Think about a small phrase that's easy to remember, uh, but long enough uh, to make it effectively very, very difficult to hack. This website would be illegal in the UK, breaking data protection and computer use laws. But in Russia, it's beyond the reach of the British authorities. All they can do is advise webcam users to be more careful about their security. Rory Kathleen Jones, BBC News. ABC's Kirit Radia joins us from Vienna via Skype. Uh, these webcams obviously are a way of life. And Kirit, this is not a Russian government issue. Instead, it looks like an independent group and a website, correct? Right, well, we know very little about this group. There's really nothing on their contact page on their website or anything about that. Um, you know, there's been a lot of people saying that these are hackers. Well, they're not really hackers, right? What they did was they were able to guess uh, the standard password for all of these uh, webcams around the world. And on the website itself, it says if you don't want your website or your, your webcam on here, just change the password. A lot of uh, video uh, cameras are already installed and computers on phones. It is a way of life now. And the package mentions from the BBC, the reporter there, more than 500 websites in the United Kingdom. How big of a problem is it here in the U.S. and all around the world? Well, this website lists cameras all over the world, but by far the biggest number come from the United States, over several thousand of them on that website alone. Now, that doesn't account for all the other ones that may not have been discovered by these, uh, by, uh, by this, this group who's, who's made this website, right? Uh, there is pretty much anybody who has not secured their webcam is potentially vulnerable to this. Uh, so anybody anywhere else in the world right now needs to go ahead, take a look at their webcams, make sure that they've got the passwords on it, or they could fall victim to the same kind of thing. And when you say secure your webcam, that means that uh, many of these cameras weren't in use before, that the password was a set of a default? That's right. So when you get these cameras, they come with a default password on them. So sometimes they'll just have, you know, administrator and one, two, three, four for the password. And that's very easy for anybody to guess. So these are web connected webcams and, and uh, anybody around the world with the password information can access them. That's what they're there for so that you can see them rem uh, remotely. Uh, but when you don't change the password, if anybody has the IP address, they can go in and get access to what you've got. So if you've got a camera in your child's bedroom for, you know, just keep an eye on them when you're at work or something, and you haven't changed that password, as long as somebody finds the IP address, they can get in and, and, and look at your child. All right, now if that website that's been set up in Russia were based here in the US and also the United Kingdom, uh, what they have been doing would be considered illegal. What are governments trying to do about this? 
Well, there have been uh, lots of conversations between governments about this. This was first raised uh, between actually the Australian and Canadian governments. Uh, they've been working in conjunction with, uh, with the U.S., uh, with several other European uh, governments to try to figure out who is behind all of this. Now, uh, British officials have said that uh, as we heard in the in the story before this year, uh, that if this website's based in Russia, they don't have the jurisdiction to go after them. Uh, but again, it really falls on the individual to make sure that they have the strongest, most secure passwords to make sure that their information is not compromised. So since the Russian website says that what they are doing is absolutely legal, are they going to continue doing this? Or is the government sort of helping out at all? Is Russia willing to step in? Well, it's actually very interesting. When you look at that website, they almost seem to be uh, doing it for some sort of advocacy in a way. And I'm, that's not to say that it is. But when you read the website, it says, you know, that they're, that they're trying to uh, to raise some awareness about how insecure all of our uh, our cameras are. And we've got cameras everywhere now. Uh, and so, um, you know, they have made no intention of taking these uh, these things down. Um, and again, it's on all of us to make sure that we protect ourselves. And Kirit Radia joining us via webcam from Vienna. Thank you for joining us and filling us in on that. And you can keep up with this story in real time by downloading the ABC News app and starring this story for exclusive updates on the go. You've been watching International Hotspot. I'm Michelle Franzen in New York.